started to a certain extent. It started from the US and then eventually practiced a lot by trying to invoke a lot by Toyota itself. And then many of the organizations tend to forget about it. Even they try to go for lean organization. Again, we make a lot of assumptions that people know how to really do the right things the right way, the right method. But yet we forget the fundamentals. So this TWI is basically for organizations who like to reflect back to I'm still not going back to basic. I think we need to go back to basic and start referring where is our baseline, where is really our problem is. Rather than we try to go for lean, go for six sigma, without knowing that our basic are very are strong enough to go for them. How does TNW82 work a competency? Because it provides an effective training method, the training delivery to ensure that people go through a proper way, starting from preparation, then they let them to have presentation and after that how do they follow up then how do they eventually by themselves be able to do their work so all these scenarios comes into the point to ensure that they are able to carry out their work diligently correctly and safely is the supervisor the right person to do it or some company we have the executives are the one who are appointed engineers who are appointed to learn up the UI and then first level, we train our supervisors. Then the supervisors ready, goes out to the one. Because so that is, again, becomes a norm. And then it becomes every day of life, people get frustrated. That's the reason also what leads to some of the, your people, your talent in your organization to leave your organization because they get frustrated. They, they, don't have, they don't have any solution to see that how this thing can be moved on to another juncture. The perspective helping the supervisors to develop good work relationship, to improve the morale, to bring up the people into looking into how do we ensure that my supervisors are doing things that they are supposed to do. We also have situation that they have to be facilitated, they have to be trained up, they have to possibly be a very good mentor and buddy to actually work them together along the way. The five good needs model of a good supervisor, if you all take a look into it, these are the very generic, the typical five supervisors that ideally we should have. JIGMJR is actually the short term for the three J's program. It's looking into the job method, how to do improvement in the way of work, job instruction, how to provide very specific right way of instructing your people to do the right thing. Are they being trained correctly? Are they being prepared correctly? The way how they handle an equipment, the way how they handle a, a daily job. So ultimately what DW try to deliver is your people is as a capability to do good work diligently, rightly and safely. Your supervisors will be able to carry out their work responsibly as a supervisor and is able to eventually manage your team of operators whom they are actually your last line of defense. And last but not least, job relation, that is the formula on top. The way how you train your people, and then you will have your job method. So as you improve your job method, you instruct the way. So the whole sequence is running Like a flow. You keep on continuously in a Kaizen manner, it continuously correlates with one another and is supported strongly by job relation. It holds. So it is always together to support us. Well. So, how do we actually get consistency? It's not a matter of how do we do it ultimately. Of course, at the end, it will still leads to the management commitment to say, what do you want to figure out this